Prayer to Cancel Evil Plans of the Enemy The devil the enemy is not always happy when you are progressing. The devil will do all he can to stop or spoil your progress in life. He will try to stop your progress in life through sickness, someone or a situation. The Bible told us in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 that we should be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. But today will be a different story in your life. All the evil plans of the enemy the devil will be cancelled in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description. God bless you. Alright, now. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your love, guidance and protection. For it is by your grace that I have not been consumed. Dear Lord, I come to you this hour, to request for the cancellation and nullification of every plot and ploy of the enemies against me, in the name of Jesus. Let all their plots and plans against me be turned into foolishness. Let all their anger and enragement against me consume them. In the name of Jesus Christ. For many that are against me and are seeking for my downfall, they plan night and day on how to harm and hurt me. Dear Father Lord, let their evil plots and plans come on them. For I have neither hurt, harm nor plotted any evil against them. Therefore dear Father Lord, in your judgment and justice, defend me against their evil and diabolic plans. In the name of Jesus Christ. For dear Lord you know you are my only trust and the source of my strength. For I have no strength of my own or elsewhere to contain or withstand them except you. Therefore dearest Lord, come to my rescue and save me from the rage and anger of this great army of haters who wanted me destroyed, delayed, demoted, killed, diminished and humiliated. But on you dear Lord, I have put my trust. Do not allow them to succeed or rejoice over me. So that man won't have good reasons to ask me where is your God. Therefore dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you cancel and destroy all of their overt and covert plots and plans against me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, save and deliver me from the scheming and crafts of the enemies and frenemies to destroy me, my peace, the peace of my family and household, my resources, and my health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, who vengeance belongeth according to Psalms 94. Arise O Lord with deliverance for me. Defend me of every evil plot and plan, after the order of your word of Psalm 94 which reads, O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He that chastiseth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law. That thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous, 
and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness, yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Bless me Lord according to your word, arise and defend me against every attack and attackers. In the name of Jesus. Even if they are after me because of my sins, misdeeds or iniquities. Dearest Father Lord, here is my prayer unto you, like David in Psalms 51. I say, Dear Lord, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions. Wash me truly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, the only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it, thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. Father Lord, hear my prayer for mercy and forgiveness. Forgive me O Lord and destroy every evil plot, ploy and conspiracies against me. In the name of Jesus Christ. For in your word of Numbers 23 verse 23 you say, There is no divination against Jacob, no evil omens against Israel. It will now be said of Jacob and of Israel, See what God has done. Therefore Father Lord, according to your word, in the name of Jesus, I cancel and nullify every enchantment, every sorcery, and every projection against my life, my destiny and my household. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Dear Holy Lord, I pray for all my listeners, let every evil plot, ploy imaginations against them be cancelled and thwarted. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every ploy and plot to humiliate them, demote them or destroy their lives and glorious destinies. In the name Jesus the Christ of God, I void every covertly and overtly acts of the enemies and frenemies against their progress and prosperities, in the name of Jesus Christ. As your word says dear Lord in Job 22 verse 28. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say, there is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. He shall deliver the island of the innocent, and it is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. Dear Heavenly Father, I decree and declare freedom, deliverance, progress and prosperity unto every of my listener. In the name of Jesus Christ, establish them dear Lord in thy righteousness. Let them be far away from oppression, for your word says that they shalt not fear from terror, for it shall not come near them. Therefore dear Lord, grant them absolute security from oppression and harm of all kinds, in the name of Jesus. Deliver them in accordance with your word of Psalms 91 verses 3 through 16, which says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, 
nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him, and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, and show him my salvation. These I ask and pray you dear Heavenly Father of all my listeners, in the previous and wonder-working name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.